France. La parole maintenant est à son Excellence, Dr. Minkai Louba, ministre de l'Éducation, Sciences et Technologies de Sierra Leone. Chairman of the General Conference, Madam Director General of UNESCO, Excellencies, Ambassadors and Heads of Diplomatic Mission, Directors of Heads of UNESCO Sector and Cluster Offices, Distinguished Delegates. Let me start my presentation by congratulating UNESCO on behalf of the Government of Sierra Leone for yet another General Conference. I wish to express our sincere appreciation of the collaboration between UNESCO and the Government and people of Sierra Leone especially during our current period of post-Ebola recovery and transition. Mr. Chairman, as you may be aware, the Ebola virus disease ravaged the three Mano River Union countries, including my country, Sierra Leone. The epidemic devastated all areas of economic and social development. Before the outbreak of the Ebola epidemic, Sierra Leone was rated among the fastest growing economies in the world. But our gains have been reversed significantly. I am, however, consoled by the belief that Sierra Leoneans are resilient people, and without doubt, we will rise above the challenges holding us down presently to a height never previously achieved. To achieve this ambition, we will obviously need the continued support of UNESCO. Mr. Chairman, I am saddened to report that we lost over 200 medical personnel, including doctors, nurses, laboratory technicians, pharmacists, and other paramedics to Ebola. Additionally, thousands of children in my country have become orphans. We are, however, encouraged by the fact that throughout our trying times, UNESCO and fellow African and other countries rendered help to our country in the form of medical personnel, medication, and equipment to end the tragedy. Mr. Chairman, distinguished delegate, I wish to inform you that the three countries of the Mano River Union have embarked on a massive post-Ebola recovery program and will therefore welcome assistance in all the areas that has been tremendously hit, especially education and health. Mr. Chairman, through the support of UNESCO and other international partners, Sierra Leone continues, even in the face of Ebola, to make significant progress in a number of areas in education. School level enrollment continues to surge. Although we do not have all children of primary school aged 6 to 11 years in school, Enrollment at the primary level exceeds the number of 6 to 11-year-olds in our country. Enrollment at the secondary level is now increasing at a faster rate than at the primary level. Our challenge now is not just a matter of constructing more secondary schools, but also ensuring that we have enough teachers that have the capacity to teach at all levels. Gender parity in enrollment has been achieved at the primary level, and noteworthy progress is being made at the secondary level. In fact, in the majority of local council areas, there are now more girls than boys in primary school. Mr. Chairman, technical vocational education and training continues to be at the heart of plans for the education of our youth. My delegation regards UNESCO as a partner who can support Africa to successfully implement the TVET strategy that, has, that was adopted by the African Union. Effective and successful implementation of this strategy will result in practical skills transferred to our youth in this regard, with the support of UNESCO, we have developed a, a TVET policy. We now anxiously look forward to action on the October 2009 Memorandum of Understanding UNESCO signed with the government of Sierra Leone. I wish to state at this point that all interventions detailed in our post-Ebola recovery document and recovery plan have their origin in our education sector plan for 2014-2018 and our Poverty Reduction Strategy Paper 3, the Agenda for Prosperity. Our ESP has three goals. One, to improve access, equity, and completion. Two, to improve the quality and relevance of education. Three, to strengthen education delivery, education service delivery. Mr. Chairman, culture and tourism come in for, come in for much attention in our PRSP3. Our tourist potential is undeniable. We have beautiful beaches many historic sites and relics, as well as lost animal-rich mountain forests in the north of the country and a great fishing spot. The Ebola epidemic has dulled our tourist potential a little, but we are at the point of developing a rebranding package 
that we hope will help with our image in the world and change perception. In this regard, we look forward to action being taken on the elements of cultural, historical, and tourist support detailed in the October 2000 MOU UNESCO signed with the government of Sierra Leone. In the information and communication sectors, the government has encouraged the growth of free press, and there are several private radio, print, and television outfits all over the country. The government is poised to design a long-term program on information and communication in Sierra Leone with a focus on developing a national communication strategy, training of journalists, and capacity building of media practitioners. Mr. Chairman, there are a lot more development issues and constraints relative to the field of UNESCO's competence. But the simple message of this short presentation is to inform the distinguished body that Sierra Leone needs strong collaboration in order to fully implement its post-Ebola recovery and transition plan. We need your support, and the time is now. Thank you very much.